These are mystery ingredients. We're supposed to know these things. I don't know what these are. I would have no idea what to do with the marigolds. No. No. No, no. idea. Those were purple and now they're green. Ta-da. You should have just sliced those and thrown them in. They might need another minute. <laughs> Last two minutes. Wait, 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 Boys, today's theme is seasonal produce. Open the box. Which season? <laughs> Chard. Plums and dandelions. Marigolds. Marigolds. Parma ham. New potatoes or salad potatoes. They are like beans, but pink edamame beans. <laughs> they are of the bean family. They look like magic beans. They are balotti beans. Okay. And these are black lotti beans. And they are purple. They are gone offy beans. <laughs> Anchovy fillets. Courgette. Cucumber. Oh. <laughs> this is like nursery school We're stuff. We're supposed to know these things. I don't know what these are. You've got yellow and green ones. They are patty pan. We've got the same ingredients again, so you can use as much or as little of any of those as you like, but we would like you to use at least three different ingredients from the box to create dinner, however you define that, in 40 minutes. Let's get you ready. Your 40 minutes start in three, two, one, go. No, 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 no idea, no idea. No. So for context, this is a very, very seasonal mystery box. Everything was grown in the allotment. Whose allotment? Yeah. Mine. Oh, good. Because we all know that when Ben talks about his allotment, paint watches him dry. <laughs> <laughs> I've sliced one of these pano chocolates up. Right, has it helped? Pan. I don't know. What you've, do made a, like? you've made a patty out of it. It's courgette. Yeah, well, not like courgette, but it, it is courgette-ish. Yeah. Are you it eating have the a skin? Huge amount, huge amount of flavour. It would benefit from being cooked, but like courgette, you could absolutely ribbon it and serve it raw with the dressing. Okay. But treat it like courgette. It's just that it's got an interesting colour and shape. Right. So that kettle that I just boiled. Right. Okay. Cool. You're being like that, are you? Nice. I think I'm going to do a fresh, zesty pasta dish using pasta. two different types of beans. Pasta, he's from Hertfordshire. The patty pasta. pan with a base of garlic, lots of lemon juice, and a grate of halloumi. Great, sounds good. Heads up on the beans. You might want to treat the two differently. Oh. Purple ones are like green beans. Could be eaten raw, blanched, roasted, or, or, or fried into pakora or fritters. Whereas the balotti beans, you would want to shell and cook more like broad beans. I was going to do that to both, but I can cook these like... You can snack on those, honestly. You can just snack on those. Oh, they are nice. They're really nice. So the great thing about rainbow chard is leaf and stem are both delicious and edible, but as you're doing, you might want to treat them differently because the stems will take a little bit longer to cook, but that's where your beautiful colour comes from. I'd go through the middle and then put it on its flattest side and maybe cut that into like quarters or thirds in at the angle, so they're all roughly the same shape, but you've kept it shape, yeah. That kind of thing. If you've got particularly big patty pan, you could hollow them out and stuff them, like you might a courgette or a marrow, but actually just sautéed, grilled, barbecued, absolutely delicious. I'm excited you've both gone for bolotti beans. Wonderful in like a light minestrone soup, which you could then pack out with loads of other seasonal veg and a bit of your parma ham. I'm thinking of doing a uh, bolotti purple bean soy and lime salad. Mixing that together, so lots of different flavours. Some sort of potato-based thing. I'm going to fry my patty pan in sesame oil. So I'm, I'm trying to get these sort of like Asian flavours, but not overpowering the seasonality of the nice dishes. Sounds great. Right, I've got my patty pan frying in some olive oil, a bit of salt. I want to get some colour on that. Once I've got some colour on that, I'm also going to hit it with some garlic and the bolotti beans. Suggestion, yes. bolotti beans, 
probably take 10 to 15 minutes of boiling, so you might want to put those in with the pasta. These are mystery ingredients, and today there is a Chef Skills Challenge badge up for grabs. Oh, of course there is. Oh, course there is. <laughs> and we're talking about creativity when it comes to seasonality. So that is a combination of using the seasonal veg and making them taste great, celebrating what's good about those seasonal veg, their flavours, their textures, their shapes, but also using them in situ in a way that's not going to overpower them. Does that make it better or worse? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> mate. So I'm blanching my purple beans into boiling water, out of boiling water, because you can eat them raw. You got 14 minutes left. Those were purple. I probably left them in the hot water too long, and now they're green. Ta-da! They'll still taste great, so long as you haven't lost the texture. You don't want mushy, soft, squidgy beans. That's now, that was a lovely hot pan. It's now a very hot pan. The wine will help to bring it down. So whilst bolotti beans are fiddly to shell, I think with an ingredient like that, what I might have done was a quick braise in white wine and stock. Could have put some of the parma ham in there to give you that kind of same sort of minestrone vibe. And then you can finish that with some sauteed patty pan and some spring greens. Alternatively, like purple bean pakora with like a, a writer. You've got the cucumber there. Charred. Pasta's done. It's gonna come into here. Have you tried those bilotti beans? I've not tried them yet. Eppers? They might need another minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Eppers, they're done. They'll be fine. Yep, if you say so. So, uh, butter's gone in. I parboiled my potato. I'm going to basically finish them off in butter and miso. Very nice. Is this going to be like a warm potato salad? Is that your, is that your thinking? Well, or I'm just a warm potato of, side? Yeah, lots of, lots of little sides, basically. Grating halloumi. Unusual. The good thing about halloumi is you can slice it and char it or grill it. So this is the bit that's a bit more like the recipe pack. Yep. And actually, the texture that you get from the halloumi as it melts into the pasta, it kind of turns it into the sauce with the pasta water, with the lemon juice. Yep, really lovely. We've got five minutes, Jay's already got his in the bowl. Happy with it? I'm happy with it as a dish. If I'd known what I was making beforehand, it would have taken 15 minutes, not 35. <laughs> because you've got time to spare, Jay, just a couple mm. of things to pick up on. Yes. You cut, the, you cut the rainbow bit out of the rainbow chard. I know, but I just needed the leaves to wilt down. You should have, you should have just sliced those and thrown them in with the patty pan to cook down as well, because otherwise you've just grown it and you're just going to put it in the bin. No, I'm not. Are oh, you not? Because, no, I have a friend who knows exactly what to do with this. And when Barry gets back from holiday, he'll love to cook with it. Fine. Last two minutes. Neither of you chose to use the anchovies, the parma ham, the cucumber, the plums or the marigolds. I would have no idea what to do with the marigolds. To be perfectly honest, it's more of a garnish and it may or may not suit the dish you've done. Your dish, probably not. I have no idea how I'm going to plate this and make it look good because that looks terrible. So maybe I'm just going to go pure plate. Last 60 seconds. Don't know, you are just sesame seeds. Uh, 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 uh. Five, four, three, two, one. Bit of carnage in the kitchen, but what we have got is two dinners of seasonal produce.
experience, wasn't it? Absolutely. Happy with your efforts? Ish. Yeah. What have you got? So, I have sesame fried patty pan. Uh, I have a garlic, soy and lemon, bolotti bean, char and green bean salad with miso butter potatoes. I like it because they're all leaning on each other in a flavour profile and yet they're all very separate dishes that could be plated as you have or they could be like sharing plates to put out for like a barbecue or something in the summer as well. Like it. I made a pan fried patty pan, charred bolotti bean, pasta broth the thing with some grated halloumi through it. Cheers. Cheers. What I'm impressed on both accounts is you've picked up ingredients you didn't know how to cook with mm. and you've adapted and created something that is more familiar and it's delicious. I was worried for your patty pan because I thought they were overcooked but actually they have still got a slight bite to them as have the potatoes. The potatoes are fantastic. And that your blotty beans are cooked, so is everything else, in a really garlicky, delicious way. I'm okay with it. As, as with all of these things, I would do things a lot different now, but considering the challenge, I'm, I'm okay with that. It's one of those things of working backwards and going, I want you to make this plate. Well, now I'll do it in a completely different way. Yeah, I could do some clever things, I yeah. think. Super tasty. It's all cooked pretty well. I think your potatoes could have had another minute, but I mean, we're really picking. I think it perhaps doesn't look as inviting as it tastes, but on the whole, super, super good. Even the beans, although they've lost their purple color, remain crunchy. You'd definitely go about it a different way if you did it again, but that is a super tasty plate of food. Mm. Yeah. Oh, is that a happy dance? That was a happy bounce. Oh, I've got a happy dance. Oh, when it's chunky, it tastes completely different, doesn't it? That's really nice. I think the patty pan is brilliant. And I think it is the standout part of that dish. Everything else is cooked pretty well, perhaps except for the beans, which are definitely a few minutes under. But as a dish, super vibrant, super citrusy, garlicky. It screams summer, and I'd happily tuck into a bowl of that. Two choices to make. One, who, if anyone, gets the badge or badges, and two, Who's our mystery box winner? I spent weeks growing a whole bunch of this, brought you a mystery box of ingredients, and I think in both cases, you've done that justice. They are delicious plates of food. Little things we can improve on for next time, but given some of these ingredients you've never cooked with before, both are deserved of a seasonal badge. Well done. Yes. Well done. Well done, you. That just keeps me on a, like, the same pegging. That's so annoying. But there has to be a winner for mystery box. Whilst it is the least visually impressive. Mike takes the win because that is delicious and I think all those ingredients are stand out brilliant. Thanks Ebers. Question for you guys though, were any of those ingredients in the mystery box new to you and what would you have done with them? Comment down below. Did you try my cucumber? No. Try my cucumber. I've had better. Uh, do we need any other cool <laughs> 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 Love you too, Jen.